hello everyone and very warm welcome to your channel in this video i am going to show you a new model released from abacus ai which is called as dracaris 2 72 billion instruct model in this video we are going to install it locally in a quantized format because it's a huge model but still i will be going with a quite a large quant here and then we will test it out on various benchmarks the name Dracaris is quite a popular phrase from the Game of Thrones series, specifically from the fictional language of High Valyrian. Dracaris translates to dragon fire in English. It was famously used by um, one of the character, a command to order her dragons to breathe fire. And primarily it symbolizes powerful action or unleashing one's inner strength. So the name is quite interesting. Abacus AI has made it a fine tune of <clears throat> another very good model which is Quen 2.572 billion instruct from Alibaba. This model, the Dracaris family of fine tunes, what it has done is it has taken a base model such as Quen 2.72 billion and then fine tune it on coding data. And that is how they have targeted improvements in coding performance. This particular model Dracaris 2 72 billion instruct has beaten couple of anthropics cloud models on live code benchmarks with a wide margin and they have shared that data in this hugging face model card and i will drop the link to it in videos description so license is same as coin 2.572 billion which you can find it on their model card if you like you can even use it with the full transformers library but what i'm going to do i'm going to use this tool called as lm studio which is one of the uh, easiest tool out there along with olama to run large language models locally offline and private i already have lm studio installed if you don't know how to install lm studio all you need to do is to go to lmstudio.ai if you are on windows just click here and then download it xe for Linux, download its app image and same for the Mac and then simply run it and it is going to install it with single click, nothing fancy there. Once you have installed it, it looks like something this. Before I show you how to download and install model and run it, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. And without their help, it won't be possible to show you this model because Mast Compute has given the GPU of A6000 from NVIDIA, which has 48 GB of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. Coming back to this LM Studio and model, all you need to do is to just Click on this discover icon on the left hand side, then type your model name such as I have done Dracaris 2. Once you do that, you will see on the right hand side that they have download options. So I have already downloaded it just to save the time. And then either you can click on this use in chat or from the top left, click on this chat icon and you will see that my model is already downloaded at the top here. Okay, so that said and done, let me try to ask it few coding questions. First up, I'm asking it, I write a function to validate a password using the following rules. And then I have given it some of the rules. So I'm just creating a password validator with the help of Python here. And let me press enter or just click on send. Let's wait for it. And you can see if I just uh, show you above, I'm using GGUF format here and the assistant is working. It is slightly slow. I think I might have to offload some more layers to the GPU to make it faster. For that, you can click on this cog icon. You can see that right now I have 56 layers offloaded to GPU. So this is what we, um, the rest of it is running on the CPU. So maybe I'll try to offload it more once this inference is done. So let's wait for it and there are few other hyperparameters which you can check out. So you see it is creating that validator function. Let's wait for it to finish creating it. So you see that I have offloaded more layers to GPU and how fast that is. I have offloaded all the layers to GPU here. 
and if you look at the bottom uh, maybe i'll just show you my usage of the, the gpu card for this one i'm just going to run nvidia dash smi so it will give you rough estimates so around 43 gig of vram is being consumed out of my 48 okay there you go and it has also finished it so if i just scroll up you will see it has really produced a very fine answer for the password validator it has used regex or regular expression checked all the conditions which we mentioned in the prompt around um, you know lowercase uppercase alphanumeric and that sort of stuff it is also ask you know it has given us the example usage and then it is going giving us a very nicely written explanation of the code very nice let's try out a java program so in this one i'm asking it in java create a method to find the middle element of a singly linked list there you go so it is telling us what it is going to do it is saying oh look at that you know it's saying that it is going to do the tortoise and hare algorithm and then it is telling us that it is going to use two pointers that move through the list at different speeds one pointer tortoise moves one step at a time and the other one second step there you go so it has in the java it has used this list node class and then it has done that linked list middle element how good is that and then also defined a main function and then explanation it is still writing it very nice really good stuff so you see there is a reason um, this model has you know shown a lot of good performance on the benchmarks okay so that is done so we have done the java let's also try the javascript one so let me paste it here in the javascript i'm asking it to check if a given string is a palindrome ignoring case there you go Amazing stuff so you see it's defining the palind palindrome function very nice and i believe it has already done it let me scroll down yep it has not only done it but it also telling us the example usage which i really love about it and then there is a synopsis of the code why it is why it has done what it has done very nice beautiful okay let's try out a one c sharp one so i'm asking it to create a c sharp method to determine if a given binary tree is balanced so it is telling us what exactly it means when a binary tree is considered balanced if the height difference between its left and right subtrees are no more than one for every node in the tree and there you go so looks really cool to me very nice you see it has defined the public class here and then it has defined this boolean function and then there is a example usage and of course it is going to give us uh, the explanation of the code there you go looks really cool yep amazing stuff so you see not only the quality of model is awesome but also it gives a very very balanced answer here with the example usage which is really cool so you can immediately check it out now before i show you more examples let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at agentql who are the sponsors of this video agentql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agentql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for okay let's go back to our testing of this model which is dracaris2 let's check out a swift function to validate an email address using regex let's wait for it and look at this swift function where it has um, given us a program to validate an email address using regex very good stuff and again example usage and then the explanation and example output very good stuff let's try to see if it understand slightly lesser known language like julia so i'm asking it to develop a julia program to simulate the monte carlo method for estimating and utilizing parallel processing 
let's wait for it and look at this code in the Julia that where it has shown us the Monte Carlo method which can be used to estimate the value of n and if you go through it it has given us a pure Julia program in distributed fashion amazing stuff and then it has given us explanation too very good stuff let's try to see if it can write a game so if I just go up I'm asking it that I'm just going to maybe remove it from here so I have given it a language Python prompt is create a complete text based adventure game in Python with the following feature and then there are features of the game, the requirements and then game mechanics and then few other things constraints and game logic deliverables example input output. So let's see if it can create a whole game there. Let's wait for it. And now let's check out the fun part. So it has created a full text based game which is, seems like a very cool arcade game and then it has given us the code explanation and all that stuff so let's see uh, i have copied the code to this vs code window let's try to play it i have just called this mygame.py and it's the same game which i just showed you there are few rooms and all that stuff let me go to the terminal let me run it i'm just going to play my game there you go so it says you stand at the entrance of an ancient temple because the name of the game is the lost temple the air is thick with the scent of moss and decay there are paths to the north east and south you see the following item torch you have collected the torch what would you like to do i'll just say uh, move it says where do you want to go i want to go west you cannot go that way you stand at the entrance of an ancient temple okay so okay I'll say move I want to go north so in the north you enter a long dimly lit hallway the walls are adorned with faded murals depicting ancient battles there is a door to the west and another to the east so you have collected the key now and let's check inventory so you have the torch and key okay and then I want to use item I want to use key what would you like to do okay so it says i want to move and i want to go east now do you want to attack or run well running is the best strategy run so you say that you run away from the guard you enter along dimly and there are no items to collect so i just want to move this time i want to move west notice saying that it is an ancient temple i can't okay nothing okay i'll just move again i want to go south so now it says there is a puzzle here what is the sum of five and seven i'll just say 12. it says correct you have solved the puzzle that is cool and i want to move again i want to go this time north and then there is nothing happening here i'll say move east and then what is the capital of Egypt Cairo so you see uh, it's a very very fun stuff I can play on and on but the point here is that this model Tracaris has created a text-based game for you which I have just played in front of you so really good stuff I think uh, Abacus AI has produced some really good stuff in the past and by using uh, the power and the beauty of the Quen 2.5 model in the 72 billion one it has really produced a gem of a coding uh, performance model which we just have seen and remember we have just used a quantized version we haven't even seen the full 72 billion uh, model in full precision like in 32 bit but anyway still really good stuff so that's it guys if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching